Today, I am excited to talk about Cyber Griffin. I don't know if you guys remember this. If you've been following my channel for a while, about two years ago, I was working pretty heavily on a game uh, called Cyber Griffin that I created. It's kind of a side-scrolling 2D Doom-style game where I'm using the assets from Free Doom. So I wanted to really focus on programming and getting to know the Godot game engine. Uh, so I didn't want to have to worry about uh, the sounds and graphics and music. So I just used the assets that are free to use from the uh, Free Doom project and made a whole new game, uh, a 2D, or yeah, 2D game. And I worked really hard on it for months and months, and I was very, very happy with the way it was going. Uh, but then I just kind of, you know, got distracted with life. Well, recently I went back to it, and uh, originally it was written in uh, Godot 3 point something, and I've upgraded it to 3.5, which uh, required me to tweak some of the code and make some changes. Um, and uh, for the better, I got rid of a lot of tweens and I started using some animation players for certain things and I think that's a better option. I've been trying to improve some cameras, especially in the multiplayer. As you can see here on the screen, uh, this is the multiplayer. Everything's kind of small because originally I had a camera that would zoom in and the closer the players were, the camera would zoom in more and the further away they were, they would the camera would zoom out. And it worked really well on most machines, but on slower machines, it really, really lagged. Um, so for right now, I just backed out the camera showing the whole level. The level was square because originally the camera was zoomed in, so I should probably redesign the three battle levels to be uh, widescreen since most screens are widescreen. Uh, but I'm very happy that things are moving along. Definitely need a lot of uh, little tweaks here and there. Uh, there are different difficulty settings, and I find on the easy levels, some of the enemies attack a little too slow, and then certain things move too fast on the more difficult levels uh, or difficulty settings. Uh, but I plan on working on this more now. Uh, I thought about uh, moving it to Godot 4 since that's getting to like a pretty stable release, but when I started to do that, there was just too much to change, and I really just want to get the game done, at least this first, you know, episode or so. You know, I've got seven levels plus a hidden level and then three back Battle levels, the ba battle levels. The battle levels are not networked, they're for local, but uh, I set it up so you could hook up. The more remotes you have, it just automatically detects how many controllers you have hooked up. And I think I set it to maybe a max of 10, but you can always add more just in code. The game is uh, GPL version 3, so the source code is free and available. It's up on GitLab. I would love to have you guys look at the code. I'm definitely going to need a lot of people to test this out. Um, right now, I'm looking to you know fix bugs. I'm not looking to really add too many more features until I get a nice, solid, stable version of the game. Uh, I have a website up. The builds right there are kind of old. I need to rebuild those. But of course, this runs on cross-platform because it's Godot. Uh, I have uh, Android builds. I might look into, once again, getting it stable, getting it in the Android store. I also might need some help in the future, possibly getting this in other places, which I'll talk about more. But I would love to see this in something like the Debian repositories or F-Droid. And there's a, it's a process to get stuff in there. I, I actually looked into it a couple of years ago, uh, getting into the Debian repositories. And it's a lot of work, and I don't really have time to focus on that now. Uh, and I'll talk about this more in a future video, but if you have any expertise on that or want to learn how to do that, and you can learn that how to do that and help me get it into these repositories, I just want people playing this game. You know, it's a free game. I'm not making money off of it. It would just make me so happy that I put so much time in this that people would enjoy it. So check it out. I'll put some links in the description, source code. You can download the source code, just open it in Godot, or you can get the uh, binary builds on my website. I'll try to put a release in the GitLab page as well. Just go and play it. Let me know what you think again I know it needs a lot of uh, little tweaks here and there especially when it comes to timing and speed of stuff uh, and then the multiplayer mode definitely needs some 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 work uh, it was like I said working good I redid the camera there is a level called double impact where you're split into two players and it's kind of a puzzle where you have to get both players using one controller through the whole level and I redid the animation because originally I was using the multiplayer zoom camera for that I haven't tested it out on slower machines uh, but basically right now instead of constantly zooming in and out constantly zooming in and out. It is uh, detecting uh, whether they're the player, the two characters are further apart and then just an animation of zoom out a certain amount, zoom in a certain amount, not really the in-between. So if you get really separated, you're gonna go off the screen, uh, which could be part of the challenge of the puzzle. And uh, multiplayer levels are definitely gonna be smaller. So that may be an option for me to just move that code over to that. But for right now, again, I just backed it out so you could see the whole level. Uh, again, I just want people to play this and enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Filmsbychris.com. Check out the links in the description. Uh, again, to the links to this game and its source code. And I hope that you have a great day.